Hey what's up guys it's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video and recently the Around the World update has launched and with that update we got the wildcard system. Now if you are unfamiliar with what that does this video is going to serve to explain it to you guys and hopefully clear up how you can use them and what they are for and how they work. So firstly what is a wildcard? Well, a wild card simply is a card that you can get through different methods. So, for example, right now there's an event going on where you can get two wild cards per class and you can also get them through the Legend Pass. But essentially, you can exchange these wild cards for any blueprint of your choice. Now, there are some conditions we'll go over, but that is the basic premise of what a wild card is. So, firstly, let's go over what the requirements are. In order to exchange a wild card for a blueprint, the wild card must match two conditions. Firstly, it must match the class of the car. So you have different wild cards for different classes, such as, you know, D, C, B, A, and S, but also the wild card must match the star count of the car. So for example, you can see in my inventory, I have a one star D class wild card, but I also have a two star D class wild card wild card so they cannot be used on the same car because the car either has to be a one star car for the one star wild card or a two star car for the two star wild card the other requirement is that you must have the car unlocked in order to use it so i do believe if you let's say have a car at two stars but you don't have the key you cannot use the wild cards on that car so not only do you have to have the car at one star already you also must have the car unlocked with its key if the car you're using it on is a key car the other thing that you should know is that there is a limit to how many you can have at one time so for one star it seems like you can have 10 wild cards and for two star it seems like the limit is six now we don't know the limits on three star and above or if there are wild cards for three star and above i don't believe i've seen them in the game yet but it does mean you need to use these if you're about to go over the limit because I believe they will just convert to trade coins if you get more than 10 or however many the limit is for that specific wild card. So how do you actually use them? Well, all you have to do is go into your garage and go click on a car that is eligible to use one of these wild cards. So for example, here I have my Porsche Taycan Turbo S, which is at one star, and there is a button next to the blueprint number next to the car name. I can click on that. And then there is a menu similar to the trade coin menu where I can use my wild cards to convert them to Porsche Taycan blueprints. So just as an example of what it looks like to actually redeem a wild card, I dragged the slider down to one wild card. And when I clicked confirm, I just got one Porsche Taycan blueprint in exchange for one wild card. So that is everything you need to know about the new wild cards in Asphalt 9. Now, before I end the video, I do want to mention some tips and my sort of philosophy going into this because this is a really cool addition to the game. It's going to give players more freedom on what types of cars they want to start up and when they want to do it. This is really cool to see. So in regards to the limit, that is a very small number. Six blueprints for two stars, ten blueprints for one star. So you might be thinking, how useful are these going to be really? And in my opinion, these are going to be most useful for when you're just so close to starting up a car. So I wouldn't drop these on a car where you have like 10 out of 85 blueprints for unlocking that car. I would drop them if you're at 83 or 84 out of 85 blueprints just so that you can get over that edge and star up your car. Also, like I mentioned, because of that limit, it might convert to trade coins if you go over that limit. So if you know you're about to receive some extra wild cards, but you've reached the limit, go ahead and spend those wild cards so you don't waste them. Obviously, a blueprint in any car is going to be much more worth it than however many trade coins you'll get for that wild card. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video explaining wild cards and giving you guys some tips on how to use them properly. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.